you mentioned already that the Vitsu is, is is the library where you, is the version where you, you you're finally compatible with the guiding principles and, and that's one thing. Um, so I just wanted to ask if there is anything that you wanted to highlight as far as V2, if, if there is anybody listening to us that been using V1. Um, I guess that might be, it might be worth to just quickly glance for the most important changes. Uh, and if there is anything that you wanted to highlight, please do. I'm, I'm really curious about what's inside. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, of course. So, uh, uh, we, uh, we introduced uh, a bunch of, um, upgrades and cleanups uh, inside uh, uh, V2, but they were uh, like some of them were uh, only uh, like maintenance uh, wise, which is, uh, for example, dropping Node 8 that reached uh, end of life uh, with, with the end of 2019. Um, yeah. And uh, we also removed, uh, oh, I'll just go one by one. Uh, we've introduced a automatic cleanup uh, which nice. also works the same in the um, in the React uh, testing library. It's even more uh, important there because it also cleans up the the DOM state. We don't use DOM, so we only um, unmount the component, and we use the same uh, the same APIs to uh, as the React testing library uh, to uh, to enable or disable uh, this behavior. So uh, so. That, that's one of the uh, compatibility changes. Another one is uh, wait for API changes. Uh, our The signature of uh, and the name of our uh, wait for element uh, function was a bit different. Uh, so we've made it uh, that it's, it's exactly the same as the testing library. So it's named to wait for. Yeah. Uh, it has options object, uh, fairly trivial upgrade. Uh, uh, there's not too many users that tweak those options anyway. So it's it, it, like 90% of uh, changes is just rename wait for element to wait for. Yeah. Um, also, uh, wait for another um, uh, like productivity and uh, ease of use upgrade is that we now wrap uh, wait for calls inside uh, Inside Act, so we don't have to think about it, and uh, and we also in the uh, in the late, in the last version of uh, of version one, um, we introduced the find by which which uh, which was also missing from our API. Uh, so we removed the global debug function. This was something that we introduced uh, in the very first version, and then it turned out that. Uh, it's easier to use debug directly from the rendered uh, component because we we are usually interested in that. Uh, so so we removed uh, remo removed the uh, the legacy helper. We removed the shallow function, uh, which is a very simple implementation. So if anybody wants to use shallow rendering, uh, and there are some uh, justifications to use it if you're uh, uh, if you're heavily uh, invested into unit testing, uh, like very, very unit testing of your uh, React components. Uh, yeah. But the, the thing is that those components need to be super simple. And uh, if, you, if you add state to it, you may have troubles with difference uh, yeah. between shallow and deep rendering. So we generally discourage from using that. That's why uh, um, that's why we remove it, removed it. Uh, but yeah, if, if you if you use shallow in your test, you can re-implement uh, it with, with this few lines of code and uh, migrate off of this API later. Uh, we removed nice. um, a some, lot of some other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, just just uh, we removed one actually one uh, one query which is by name. It was all uh, right. Uh, it was very. It was a mistake from from the very beginning, but we we actually used this API in, uh, in some of our apps. So we deprecated it like a year ago, uh, and uh, um, and we spawned uh, warnings for that. And now it's uh, now it's completely removed. Uh, so so if you uh, if you relied on uh, get by name, uh, I mean you already. Uh, been warned, uh, and uh, now it's just just uh, uh, 
impossible to use it. It's yeah. uh, very it's very easy to replace it with get by type, uh, which also which was also rena uh, renamed to to be unsafe get by type and uh, and uh, the the unsafe as we call them um, uh, queries are getting by type and getting by props because they assert on uh, on certain uh, implementation uh, details of your uh, uh, component that the components that you want to test uh, integration of uh, but it's not always a bad thing to do it that's why we leave those apis uh, because we know there are users that uh, uh, that successfully um, test their components or some of the components using um, those queries so so we just rename them and we don't have plans to uh, to remove those for now. They're shouting at you that it's unsafe and you basically <laughs> need to know what you're doing yeah. because uh, fun fact is that uh, a lot of developers don't know what they're doing when they're testing. They just want to bump their coverage up. So, uh, so we want to make it as easy uh, for them as, as possible. So yeah. to, to not be a, an expert in testing uh, and just to test your React components, um, we fixed a long-standing bug in uh, in the get by uh, test ID query. Uh, so this this may be uh, problematic in some some cases. Uh, the details are here. You can uh, you can read them if you if you hit those uh, um, edge cases. And uh, we've deprecated and plan to remove the flash micro task queue. Uh, this is very simple help, helper. It's a one-liner, and uh, it, it's usually not necessary to use it. It's it's better to use find by or wait for. Yeah, uh, and cool. that's um, that's basically it. Uh, um, apart from those um, those applications, we made sure we're compatible with a few uh, community libraries. And uh, and this makes us very easy to be super compatible with other testing libraries.